What's up, Wrath Gang? Just got out of seeing Godzilla minus one with my son Rex. We're currently in the car eating this Arby's, what is it called? Good Burger 2 meal. The Good Burger. And uh, it's not worth it. The burger's delicious, you know, it's juicy. It's small and uh, it's not. And anyway, let's talk about this movie. <clears throat> now, I have been a fan of Godzilla. I've been team Godzilla since day one. I remember growing up watching Godzilla movies on TV late at night as a kid. The grainy footage and all this stuff is low quality back then and I loved it. I gobbled it up seeing the man in suit, Godzilla, trample over Tokyo, right? You see the little toy cars and the the miniatures all explode and uh, sparks flying and stuff. It was just fantastic growing up. I just love Godzilla with his new cheeks and stuff and his big, big thick legs and you know little stubby arms. I just loved it. So going into this, now all the hype is real, guys. All the hype online. Rotten Tomato score is 97%. A Cinema score. All the YouTubers out there love this movie, gushing about it. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta go see this. So I took my son. We went and saw it. And I absolutely loved this movie. Everything about it was spectacular. What's impressive is the human story. How it's always been an afterthought in the American Godzilla movies. It's like, oh my god, you gotta throw them in there. Who gives a crap? Go show me watch it. No. This one, you follow the human story from the beginning to the end. And it's an emotional ride. And I enjoyed it thoroughly tears emotional absolutely fantastic now with that out of the way now let's talk about godzilla and the evolution of godzilla from the beginning throughout the movie spot on japan knows how to do godzilla over 70 years and they had the technology of today's standards to bring godzilla to life and like you've never seen it before this movie only have made it only cost about 15 20 million dollars to make and it is absolutely mind-blowing what they've done in this movie. This looks great. Just amazing to see him when he's on screen. There's probably about four or five action scenes throughout the movie sprinkled. The way he looked, perfect. Eyes, face, scales, this, this, the, the way this design, perfect. Absolutely perfect. The scales, just sharp and just menacing looking, awesome. Godzilla's not a good guy in this one. He is a badass mofo that is going to destroy everything around you. Love that part. Let's talk about the star of this Godzilla here. The star of the Godzilla is the atomic breath. Okay? You know, when his, his spines, you know, start glowing blue and you're like, oh, here it comes. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Right? No, 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 no. This is not the blah. This is take your mother effing breath away atomic nuclear bomb going off when he shoots that breath and it is insane the way they've shot this and the way they've created it the blowback and the destruction it is an absolute spectacle you have to go see it in the theaters to experience what I'm talking about it'll take your breath away when you see it and it happens a couple times I, my mind is blown every time he's revving, revving up to do the atomic breath that is how you do atomic breath and if they don't have that level of atomic breath in the new Godzilla Kong movie that's coming out soon, which I have to do a reaction to, by the way, then they drop the ball big time. That, that is atomic breath. But definitely check it out. Humor it had a couple funny moments in it. It is subtitles, easy to read, and it just follows the story perfectly. The subtitles looking, and it's fine. Don't worry about it. You'll you'll be able to follow it, follow through. Great acting. Emotional, action-packed, great visuals. Godzilla looked perfect. I love this movie. I will be buying it in physical media. I don't buy physical media. I will buy this movie and put it on my shelf because it is an absolute must-own movie. And there's a, definitely a few demo scenes for your home theater enthusiasts that's going to rock your subs. I can't wait to see it in the Raft Cave because I know the theater didn't have the Raft Cave subs going. So I'm going to experience it again, truly. Go see this movie. Emotional from beginning to end perfect ending hopefully it sets up some good stuff in the future i want a sequel badly 
And I heard this movie's doing really well, so that's good. Anyway, guys, go check out Godzilla Minus One. Yeah, yeah.